The Pinpoint News Tracker shows you where this happened on Route 140 North in New Bedford near Exit 4. Tonight we've learned the teens in the car were headed to the Greater New Bedford Regional Votech and the boy who was killed was a star athlete there and the captain of multiple sports teams. Eyewitness News reporter Nathan Uosu joins us live now with more on the accident from the southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom. Susan, Mike, you're right. Andrew McCann was captain of his football and baseball team. He also ran track. Very well-liked, very well-known student at his high school. We're told that he was studying plumbing, had dreams of going to college, maybe working for his family business. Then he wanted to return to his high school to teach. But Andrew McCann died this morning in that car crash that you mentioned on Route 140 North in New Bedford on his way to school. He was a passenger in that car, and the superintendent tells us that many of the students actually saw the wreckage on their way to school this morning, and that's how the news spread. It spread later through social media. And then throughout the day, friends of Andrew McCann gathered at his home in New Bedford, lending their support to his family and friends. Many of his teammates we spoke to, his father and his brother, we'll hear from them. He just had great things going. I mean, everybody that knows him was a great kid. I mean, you ask anybody out here, you'll see. You'll see because he touched so many people, and he never, he was one of those kids never fought, never talked back to people, respected everybody. He always lit up the room. He, uh, everybody liked him. He was well liked. He worked hard in sports. Uh, I just, I've never met one person that didn't like my brother. Now, there are reports that McCann was not wearing his seatbelt and that he was ejected from the car and died on impact. We are told that the other two in the car, the driver and the other passenger in the car, were wearing seatbelts. They were transported to the hospital, but we're told they are home right now. Very minor injuries. Right now, they're just dealing with the loss of their friend, as are many people in the New Bedford community. We will continue to hear from people at his school, his family, later on tonight, live at 6 o'clock. For now, we're live with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom. I'm Nika Nwosu, Eyewitness News.